من طراب ثم من نطفة ثم من علقة ثم من علقة ثم من مضغة مخلقة وغير مخلقة وغير مخلقة لنبين لكم ونقر في الأرهام ما نشاء إلى أجل مسمى ثم نخرجكم تفلا ثم لتبلغوا أشدكم ومنكم من يتوفى ومنكم من يرد إلى أرض للعمر لكي لا, لكي لا يعلم, من يعلم من بعد علم شيئا وترى الأرض هامدة فإذا أنزلنا عليها الماء أهتزت أهتزت وربت وأنبتت من كل زوج بهيج ذلك بأن الله هو الحق وأنه يهيي الموتى وأنه على كل شيء قدير وأن الساعة آتية لا ريب فيها وأن الله يبعث من في القبور Ahsant, Ahsant. Right, so officially, welcome to Beat the Buju's quiz number three. <laughs> Ahsant. So, we have some uh, rules to go through. This year, it's very professional. They've given me actual rules to read out here. So, before I do that, um, we have to move our cars. Still a few cars left in the rugby or... Rugby is fine in the center next door, which basically is the mandir. I don't know why we stopped saying that. So, mandir is next door. Please go and move your cars if it is over there and bring it in here, please, so that you don't get locked in the mandir. Anyone? Going once? Twice? Okay, right. So, some rules. So, thank you so much for joining us uh, for Beat the Bujus part three. It's great to have everyone here. Um, and in brackets here, I didn't write this in brackets, it says mainly the EC because it's the third year and it's the first time that we have an EC table. Big round of applause please for the EC. <laughs> it's so nice that the EC are supporting us three years later, alhamdulillah. Good luck getting windows three years later as well. Right, so, um, rule number one. Okay, so rule number one is that me and Imran Lee will be having a lot of banter and laughs. Please, no one take it seriously, no one take it to heart. It's just a joke. We're just uh, making the Ramadan spirit more fun and enjoyable. That's what makes a quiz enjoyable. Really, it's not these questions. It's our East African banter which makes it more fun. So number one, rule number one, no phones. Please do not cheat. Every year I say this, and every year there are impossible questions on here for people to know, and somehow, subhanallah, wahi comes to them, and they somehow know the answers. Number two, please forgive us in advance for any mishaps of the questions. We've tried our best. That's not me. The uh, Al-Hadi team have tried their best for the accuracy. Apologies for any mistakes. Number three, any allergies. If anyone has any allergies, please let one of the volunteers know. Kumail, can you just put your hand up at the back over there? Okay, if anyone has allergies, please see Kumail so that we can make sure we don't give you something which is going to cause issues. Number four, payment QR code will be on the screen. So on the screens, there was a payment QR code. Uh, it is three pound per person. They are also taking uh, card payments via um, Haydari Nazrali which is going towards his medical school fees. fees. So, <laughs> in fact, just before we do that, as you know, Meh, um, Haider is one of the few who actually sit there through every lecture signing uh, for the special needs. And I think that is amazing for the amount of time he has donated towards doing that. And 
helping others to learn Islam as well. So a loud salawat for him, please. Ahsant, Abbas says you're engaged now, so that's the last we'll see of you. Okay, so whilst you're donating for the quiz, quiz, please. That's a highlight from last year. Wassalamu alaikum. <laughs> okay, so that happened three times last year, three times. Right, that's really embarrassing. So, whilst you're donating for the quiz, please donate for a window as well. Everyone in the center tonight, if they donate 10 pounds, we can cover one window. So, please, make sure we donate towards the windows as well. Uh, there will be prize, prizes for the winning team. 10 pound voucher for Juicewala. So, I think that will get you a bottle of water over there only. But, nah. <laughs> Juicewala, I'm joking, I love you. Number seven, um, <laughs> okay, number eight first, if there's anything else you want to mention. Sorry, that's for us, if we want to mention anything else. Okay, Imrani, if there's anything else you want to mention. Right, and finally, before we start, it says uh, Surat Al-Fatiha for the Marhameen of the, all the volunteers, all those present, and especially, we can't enjoy ourselves without thinking of those around the world who are suffering and oppression, especially in Palestine, especially all around the world. May Allah hasten the repentance of our 12th Imam firstly, May Allah give those who are oppressed the patience and the victory that they need. And with that, remember all of the marhumin with the Surah Al-Fatiha. Okay, so we have eight, eight sections. And each section has eight questions, I believe. Um, so this is to donate. Uh, every, every table should have one person who has logged on to Slido so that they can answer the questions. So one person from each table should be logged in. You will discuss your questions and the answers with those on the table, not with Google. And then you will write down your answers. Wi-Fi. This is not Mombasa. Everyone should have data plan. <laughs> Wi-Fi. Mustafa no. Uncle. M Mustafa Uncle. Mustafa Uncle. Wait, 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 wait. You have donated 10 Hajj tickets so far, and you <laughs> can't afford each 10,000 pounds, and you can't afford a data plan. Please. Three years ago, and Mustafa now? Uncle donated 10 Hajj packages. And he was so scared, I don't know what dua he did. Sadio Hajj Bantevio. No one could go. But now we're back again. Ahsan Mustafa. And now he's back with the ventures because he's a father in law as well. Where's Yasser? Okay. Uh, AV, can you let me know when we're ready to move on from the slider? Will we see everyone's names coming up? I have to start it first. Will the first question come up if I press start? No. Wait. Right, please can everyone log on to um, Slido? Not coming up? Right, whilst you're doing that, there was actually a table of uh, some Sunni brothers who were here. Uh, they were actually my students from the school that I'm teaching at. They skipped Taraweeh just to come for, for um, the quiz, uh, but then they had a but then they had, a, uh, uh, they had a curfew, so they all had to leave. Um, so they've gone, they've gone. What? They? they left. Let's try and be creative with the team names. Bonus point for those that have the most creative team names.
Okay, another two minutes. Yeah, yeah, some of them. Okay, so who is Washamba Returns? Ahsan, I love the name. Washamba Returns. And then we have what? Nairobi Rafida. <laughs> Figo. <laughs> Hashtag Zach. Who else do we have? Mental Dentals. Where's Mental Dentals? Are they from online maybe? Mental Dentals? Wasim, you sure that's not you? <laughs> and we have who? Team AV, can't count past three. All is coding, right? Zero and ones, that's all it is. I thought Madressa weren't here. Where's Madressa? Oh, Team Madressa. kind of Madressa. <laughs> Toronto Jamaat. <laughs> Who's that? Biryani boys. Where is WF? Well, Wait, the Imran Lee, after the court case comment you made last year, <laughs> they decided to boycott, I boycott. think. I think they're working on Manifesto 2024, 2026, that's why. Popcorn? Who's popcorn? Is that you guys, always? Popcorn. Who are you guys? Team Smack. Team Sayed. Okay. Can we, uh, can we start? Oh, one more minute. <laughs> guys, you guys are the youngest. Technology should be like, you know. Is that you? SJ Wags and Kids. Who is that? <laughs> is that your wife's esteem online? I think the ladies find it more interesting to join our <laughs> quiz than their quiz. Thanks for tarawih. <laughs> Rajbalis. Where's Rajbalis? <coughs> Where's the That's because you're not a Buju, innit? That's why. <laughs> not a Buju. Not a Buju. <laughs> Did someone spell Tommy wrong? Timmy. <laughs> Roof finally got fixed. Is that easy? <laughs> this is out of order. Huh? <laughs> Time for Tarawi. <laughs> okay, AV, can we, can we start? Are we good? Hi, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Brace yourselves. So, the first question, or the first eight questions, the section is called logos. So, you need to look and guess which logo is being shown on the TV. Are we ready, Imran Lee? Let's do this. Bismillah. Right, question number one. Oh, which logo is this? Oh, wow. My favorite logo. Is it Quran Explorer? Is it Quran Hadi? Is it I Quran? Or is it Quran Lee? And which language it's, is it? In? It's written in there. <laughs> <laughs> right, five, four, three, two, one. Whoever gets this wrong, free Arabic lessons for them. <laughs> Isn't it, Sipter <laughs> Uncle? Right, so. Imran Lee, can you tell us why it is quite obvious what the answer is? Because it's written in Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> Who got it wrong? Raise your hands, please. Free Arabic lessons for you. No. Mumtaz, uncle? No. You got it correct. <laughs> Santo. Aya. <laughs> Question number two. Which logo is this? I supplicate Shia Toolkit, Duas.org, Shia Companion. <laughs> 10, 
9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have the results. I supplicate. Let's see. Check, um, top, on the top right, it says 28 out of 37. So just check everything. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry if you guys are slow, but please try and answer as quick as possible. And the answer was, I supplicate. Well done. Right, moving on. Next question. Which logo is this? Lufthansa, Lauda Air, KLM, or Qantas? <laughs> Qantas. Qantas. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shazad, don't use roaming. Arusha internet <laughs> is not going to work over here. Please, hurry up. Done? It's for you, Shaz. Ooh. Oh, wow. The answer Louder is... Air. KLM. KLM. Don't shoot the messengers. We do not know the answers. <laughs> we are just calling them out and shouting at everyone here. Okay, next question, Imran Lee. Is that me? You go is, for it. Me? is that me? All right, which logo is this? UNICEF. Who? United Nations International Court of Justice. Three, two, shares connected, huh? One. Right, everyone has voted UNICEF. Well, almost everyone. Three percent for WHO, United Nations six, and zero for the International Court of Justice. Maybe because they're useless. And the answer is UNICEF. Thank you very much. Well done. Which logo is this? Club Penguin? Penguin Publishing Group? Tencent? Or Linux? No, Zane, it's not Pingu. <laughs> IT guys. If you get this wrong, IT guys. Okay, so just a quick reminder that the quicker you respond, the more it matters, right? Because if you have equal points, it'll go on how quickly you respond. So the quicker, the better. Imran Lee? What was the last one? Linux. <laughs> Linux. At least he didn't Links. say links. <laughs> is it what? What is it? How do, you, how do you pronounce it? Linux. African. Linux. Linux. Is it Linux? <laughs> At least I didn't drop a canvas. I think this is the charger. <laughs> uh, Imran, why That's don't you start the next gun. one? <laughs> And I'll plug this in. I heard an American accent, so I got. <laughs> oh, he's Canadian. <laughs> okay, next question. Which logo is this? ING Bank, Lloyd's Bank, Habib Bank. Royal Bank of Canada. Raza has to know this. Or Mombasa Jaffrey Sports Club. <laughs> it can't be that. That went extinct years ago, no? <laughs> Sorry. N number 11, Hajj. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. 
Mustafa uncle has just donated a Hajj ticket. Please, Mustafa uncle. <laughs> Mustafa uncle. <laughs> Ahsant, okay, so we have Habib Bank as the correct answer. <coughs> okay, which logo is this? I think everyone's quite good at this. Let's make it quicker. So, Jazeera, Zateo, Press TV, Public Broadcasting Services. Five, four, three, two, one. Submit your answers, please. Asif. Is it optics? Quickly, guys. Okay, we're closing. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Okay, and the correct answer, Imran Lee. Press TV. Zeteo. Zeteo just got launched. You should know the logo by now. Who said Zeteo? No one's owning up. Okay, final logo question. Imran Lee, take it away. Which logo is this? My Fitness Pal, Strava, Peloton, or Komoot? Which one is it? Which? How many watches do you have? Okay, which um, brands are there? Why don't I take for you? Okay, can the seniors table only please smile? Film ne nikreyama? Ah, sand. <laughs> okay, so let's see what the results are after. Oh, sorry. Okay, so Strava is the right answer or no? It is the right answer. Strava is the right answer. I think answer. on this note, it's, it's uh, only fair to come to the SJ table because they've done a phenomenal job when it comes to the fitness of our community. Like since COVID, the amount of people that have just become fitter and fitter. <laughs> Loud so long. Oh, no, no, Brothers, either you clap or you recite salawat. We can't be doing Allahumma salli. I think there was a group of them that just went to Tokyo for a marathon. Care to share two minutes your experience in Tokyo? Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, so for those who didn't know, thank you brothers, boys, boys. So there was a group of them. Many of us go, you know, Najaf to Karbala or whatever it is. Others went to Tokyo. Um, which was quite, uh, quite a, a lovely thing that our community, quite a proud moment that they've gone all the way there just to run. Uh, Alhamdulillah. How many of you? Four of you? Four of us. Four of you. All right. Just tell us for one minute quickly how it went. Uh, it was um, a fantastic experience. Um, I also took my wife with me. Um, she <laughs> had a great time as well. Um, I think the main thing, uh, main reflection for me was I think we were very overwhelmed with the number of words of um, encouragement we received from people, not just in this community, but around the world. It obviously touched um, quite a lot of people just going to Tokyo to run a marathon. So Alhamdulillah, we felt very blessed and honored um, to take part and represent our community Ahsan. excellently. Ahsan. Just a disclaimer, that's because we thought you're running Tokyo to London, not just within Tokyo, that's why. Right, so leaderboard. Nobody's musketeers, who are they? Nudies. Nudie's Musketeers. Nudie. Nobody's. Who is Nudie? Who is Nudie? Right. Um, madrasa. The non, not really Madrasa, Madrasa team. Team Sayed. Smacks team. Smack. In third place, not bad. Team AV. AV. <laughs> You'll have to count past three because you're in number four there. <laughs> <laughs> Hajj team. <laughs> um, and of course, we have Ba'ulaba in, uh, in fifth place there. 
So, like I thought for the next round, maybe one we could... Minute, one minute, the seniors have come out of the page and they're lost. Oh, no. So we need to... AV team, please. <laughs> this is beyond them at the moment. 33-10, Dia? 33-10 will work? <laughs> and your flash one, camera me, I'm not going to Are we back in? We're back, We're back in. in. Allah. Okay. Salli ala Muhammad wa Okay, so for the next question, I thought, Imran Lee, what do you think? Maybe we can choose somebody to read out the question for us. How does that sound? I think that's a brilliant idea. So not from here, they'll have to read it from the board or from their phones because here we have the answers as well. Shall I choose someone? Why don't you choose anybody? Anybody. There's only one person that comes to mind. Anybody that you could choose. And I bet with my eyes closed, I know who Imran Lee is going to choose. Ah, Sant. Right. Um, okay. Most of our uncle, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Just put your hand up if you can hear me. Very excellent. 12 Hajj, Ahsan, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Can, can we change the Hajj to Ziyarat now, please? Uh, yeah. To be honest, I think Azim has more clout in the Hajj than in. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, take it away and let's read the question which is going to pop up either on the phone, you can read it off the phone, or you can read it from here. Are we ready? Best of luck, Mustafanka. Nice and loudly, please. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. What do you call the fear of long words? Okay. Uh huh. A. A. <laughs> oh my God. Hippopotamus <laughs> tuskyopholifapia, megalophobia, comamophobia, chronometrophobia. <laughs> right. Thank you, guys. Can we just calm down? Because uh, Mason here didn't hear it. Can, can Muswang just repeat those options, please? <laughs> right. So, I'm not going to even bother attempting. A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Mustafa Ankar, I think one of them you ended up swearing in the way you said it. <laughs> I, I have it on camera. <laughs> Ten seconds, an extra few seconds because you need to read that first word. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what the polls are saying. And firstly, thank you, Mustafa Ankar, for being a good sport. We always enjoy having Mustafa Ankar here because we can always uh, mess around with him. He takes it very well and he donates very well as well. Now, Whoever Googled that, that took a long time to Google that one. Mustafa Ankal, which, what, what answer did your team choose? What? What was? What was the word? <laughs> Smart. Mumtaz Ankal, what uh, answer did your team get? Give the mic, give the mic. We have a mushta head on our table, yeah. so our was the second one. Which is? Megalophobia. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what the correct answer was. Mashallah, fantastic. Mustafa Ankal, what's the, what's the answer? <laughs> right, Imran Lee, what is question number two? How much is a TV license as of 1st of April 2024? So how much is a TV license? Seniors team, that counts for the colored TV. But seniors, we don't, they get exempt, don't they? Seniors are exempt, so you don't know. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Okay, so the Africans from SJ are asking, what is a TV? <laughs> TV license. <laughs> you don't get KBC on it. 
Okay, I think we're ready in five, four, three, two, one. I have a feeling everyone's cheating here. They just paid it, Bichara, three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> right, so 169 pounds and 50 pence. Is it free for seniors? It is free for seniors. Tamara is the muffa, chene. So, uh, did you get it right? They, they got it wrong, <laughs> Bichara. I don't blame them. Okay, next question. If you got a tube at Stanmore for five stops, where would you end up? I'm going to count down. This is going to be quick. Five, four, three, two, one. Yalla, 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 yalla. Doors are closing. Jaldi. Mind the gap. Yeah. Bio, jaldi karo, jaldi. The next station is. Hey, behave yourself. <laughs> okay, closing. So, we have Wembley Park, Neesden, Kingsbury, and Dollis Hill. Shane Bas had a very interesting comment. Shane. So the, Liverp the Liverpool fans will not bother to do this journey in a few weeks' time. <laughs> <laughs> we were already there. <laughs> Well, even if they did do this journey, I wonder why they would be going to <coughs> Nisden. <laughs> right, so Nisden is the correct answer. Totally agree with Shani Bas anyway. Hi, Imran Lee, next question. Complete this well-known phrase. Procrastination is the what of time? Thief, killer, enemy, or waste Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what the results are. Thief has got the biggest. Let's see if that was correct. And that is the correct answer. So, Imran Lee, over to you. Sheikh is spectating today. Sheikh, we're pulling you in at one point. So, it's either now and later, or this is an easier one than what's coming later. So, <laughs> no, later, 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 later. <laughs> All right. So, uh, um, procrastination is the thief of time. That means Sheikh will be uh, telling us about all the Islamic questions. Ahsan. Right. Next question, Imran Lee, over to you. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Scottish. The shortest commercial flight in the world lasts one minute and is between which two Scottish islands? Who, who's reading it out for us? <laughs> well, there's only Scottish. one person who's who speaks Scottish. eloquently in English. Yeah. <laughs> Mason. Mason. In a Scottish accent. I can't do Scottish Try it, try it, try it. It's all no, banter. No, 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 no. It's just banter. I might, I might, just I might get it. a nickname at the end of this. Sky and Scalp, eh? <laughs> Bresse and Yell. Grimsay and Lismore. And Westray and Daddy Westray. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Fergie. Thank you. Right. So, A, B, C, or D. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shout out to Shabba Jaffa who's just walked in. Hey. 
We're coming to you soon, Shaba. Yeah. So Hale, I've seen you as well. Right. Mumtazanka is looking for Gogai from last year. Well, what, what was the story with Gogai? Story Kura Mumtazanka. So last year, is, is Mohammed Gogai here? <laughs> Where is he? Oh, he's hiding. <laughs> Mohammed Gogai. Ahsan, please stand up for us. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa alihi Muhammad. Yeah. Still available from last year. <laughs> okay, so uh, last year, Mumtaz uncle promised us that he had an album that uh, could help Muhammad Gogai to get engaged. The problem was all the pictures were in black and white, and the average age was about three times of what Muhammad Gogai's age was. But is there any update on that, Mumtaz uncle? Yeah, can I speak? Yeah, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Bye, Salam. Bye, last year it so happened that, you know, I happened to uh, have an album, and uh, Gogai was my prospective candidate. And, you know, the choice, the, the, the showdown came. When we seniors, we have to uh, visit the washroom very often. Now, if you, may, if you may forget that, that I had a choice of either going to the washroom or showing the album to Gogai or showing him the album in the washroom. <laughs> but, but this episode has continued on to something else. And I'm telling in front of everyone, because of this thing, Mohammed Datu, you have landed me into a big lots of problems. <laughs> I'll tell you why. No. No, the police weren't over. Because what happened after this episode, I received a call from seven to eight other Wandas. They wanted to see the album. Now, so how do they get in touch with me? They have to call me. So they had to call me at all the different times. Now. They were calling me around 11 p.m., midnight, past 12.30, and all that. Seven of them warned us. Three of them coming from that back room there. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you, and they are all in that lot there. And one of them is looking at me. And they called me past midnight, and they would say, Mumtaz uncle, please give us a chance to see the album, and we are prepared with any condition. We don't mind if it is the washroom, we don't mind if it is the shower room, or we don't mind if it is a dark room, yeah? So anyway, these things and these calls came coming, but I landed into more problem because of you. That is why when your auntie at home tells me, Now she had her doubts, little did she know that there were, because Daroj Kon Karache, because there were seven of them calling. That's why there weren't too many, yeah? But never mind. The show is going on. Inshallah, you pray. We'll sort something out for them. I have come from East Africa. The album has been updated. And there have been, you know, good prospects in there. But I'll tell you what. This album is meant for those wonders. But amongst us here, there were two married people who asked to look at the album. These two. Abe. Yeah. Now, finally, yeah, thank you, thank you. Give them a big clap, give them a big clap. Mohammed no to samji gya, our grandson jo che, I will sort that out. Problem ma to aaj hawan ho che, aaj aaj. Aane sehri na thi malwani ho tamle. Sant. Now you wonder why Mumtaz uncle has applied for a DBS seven times and been rejected. <laughs> ah, son. Right. Next question. Which surah has two basmala? Basmala is the name for Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Is it Nahal, Namal, Hud, or Luqman? وَلَقَدْ أَتَيْنَا لُقْمَانَ الْحِكْمَةَ
Um, Abbas Gulamali, Abbas Gulamali, our Mukhi, our beloved Mukhi, has said that the book, he actually wanted the book from Mumtaz's uncle, but it was for who? Mikdad, Ahsan. Where's Mikdad? Mikdad? Thank you. Mikdad, can you stand up? Ahsan. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. So the book will remain in an undisclosed location in the center next door. <laughs> it's like Voldemort, huh? the one who shall not be named. Right, okay. So let's see what the results are here. And the correct answer is Suratun Namal. Now, for an extra point, first hand up wins. What is the reference for this verse? Bismillah, Ta'i. 13. Oh, verse 13. Such a verse. 30. Right. Does anyone know what the actual verse is? Other than Bismillah rahman rahim of course. Bis Ahsan, Ahsan, read me out the verse, please. <laughs> anyone can read me out the verse? Bismillah. Oh. Innahu min Sulaiman wa innahu Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ahsan, Ahsan. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. So the Queen of Sheba, the Queen of Sheba says, "Inni ulqiya ilayya kitabun karim." A very noble letter has come to me. Innahu min Sulaiman. It's from in Sulaiman. Why was it noble? Wa innahu Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. It had the name of Allah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Now to answer Gogai's question, yes, she is available. Ahsan. Right, moving on. Come through you, Ahsan. After the quiz. What is the name of Simon Pegg and Nick Frost's film trilogy? Trilogy of the Dead, the Millennium Trilogy, the Ginger Ninja Trilogy, Three Flavors Cornetto Trilogy. Asghari, are you ready? I'm coming to you with a question. Right, five, four, three, two, one. Right, Trilogy of the Dead or Three Flavors Cornetto Trilogy. 45% each. The answer is... Okay. <laughs> we could have done it. Okay, next question. Is this me? How many surahs in the Quran begin with the letter T? Wasim knows all of them. T. T. In fact, in fact, I don't know because I didn't make these questions up. <laughs> Who? Kumail? Who made these questions up? Is it ta or ta or both? English ta. Just English ta. Okay. Okay, so what's the English ta? It's English ta. <laughs> no so ta and ta count the same, basically. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. 
Ba and Ta count as the letter T. Ta and Ta, not Tha or the or Za or they're different. Ta and Ta. Should um. We are going to pick on a few of you to give us some surahs which begin with ta ta. So, <laughs> so let's see what we come up with in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Results. Ooh. Close. <coughs> the correct answer is 10. Well done to all those who got it right. Can the EC table please give us one surah which begins with ta or ta? Taha. Taha, ahsan. Madrasa team. And that's not the name of the surah. I can't Unfortunately. Tariq. Tariq. Tariq, ahsan. Ahsan. That's not the name of the surah. No, so it doesn't start with T or Toba, Ahsant, Talaq. Name, name. Well done, Surah Teen from the youngsters Teen. over here. Teen. Which? Go guys saying Talaq. Talaq. <laughs> Talaq is correct. Loud salwaat for Go guy. Did he get Mumtaz uncle's permission? For Mumtaz. <laughs> <laughs> Aya, next question. I love you, Gogan. Oh, end of the round. So we have the leaderboard. Washamba. Washamba. Not so much Shamba anymore, huh? Well done. Everything correct. How many phones do you have on the table? They're Shamba. They don't use phones. Nudin Musketeers. Time for Taraweeh. Your friends. Which I don't really like that name. Your friends? It's too sectarian. Bande, where's Bande's Bande Khuda? Khuda? Every year. Every year. Every year the same Bande's name. Khuda. And every year they're in the top three or top four until the last few and then they just switch out. Marhum. And Poof. where is 313? Do we have a 313 over here? 313? No? Online. Right. SJ, VP, 10th. Seniors, where are you, seniors? <laughs> second from last. At least you're second. <laughs> okay, so next round is politics. Team AV. Team AV, what happened? Right, so. <laughs> Question, wait, wait, no, wait. This one is second. What? Huh? Koja politics or normal politics? Is there a difference, Imran Lee? Is there a difference? <laughs> right. So, uh, last year, we had uh, uh, the Right Honourable, Abbas Ali Adda, with us. Um, this year, we've been blessed with Sidi Khan. Um, who was that table tennis guy that we had? Oh, Boris, right. We've had him before as well. But this year, we have the Right Honourable Maysam Datu with us. So, let's see what questions we have, and Mason can always correct us <coughs> if we are wrong. Okay. What's currently the fourth largest group of MPs in the parliament? Is it the Liberal Democrats? Is it the SNP? Is it the Democratic Unionist Party? Or is it the Independents? Order. Order. Imranli, you know, I walked over there and I heard Shams saying Harambe stars, <laughs> but I don't see them. <laughs> Kanu. 
All right, five, four, three, two, one. Questions to the Prime Minister, please. The answer is, well, the Liberals have the highest Mason, what is it? answer. But well, what it? is the answer? Mason, take a guess. I think it's the SNP. That's what we've put down. <laughs> the independence. independence. And once again, just to reiterate, these, these answers could be completely wrong. Don't shoot Imran Lee or myself. It is the Al Hadi team who are looking after that. Right, next question. Technically, largest group. They didn't even say party, so Correct. cover themselves. Since the end of the Second World War on 2nd September 1945, how many prime ministers have come from the Labour Party and how many from the Conservatives? 5 and 12, 4 and 10, 2 and 11, or 5 and 10? Five, four, three, two, one. Right. So, before we come to the, the answers, Imran Lee, it's always Imran Lee who has these offside comments, you know? Last time was WF. This time, Imran Lee, why don't you tell me what you just told me? So I overheard the senior saying, in my lifetime, this is the Prime Minister, this is the Prime Minister. They were saying, <laughs> When I was in Jangbar, this guy was a prime minister. When I was <laughs> so, seniors, how many? What do we have? Five and ten. Okay. Let's see. The Right Honourable Mason, what do you think? Hey, we're in the mosque. Five and that? twelve. <laughs> Did anyone get that right? Abbas Keiji, you got that right, huh? Ah, Sant Abbas. Where's Zain Ahmed when you need him, huh? <laughs> right, next question. You got it right? Well done. Liz Trust, who no one trusted, lasted. Did you get that joke? Did you enjoy that African joke there? Liz Trust, who no one trusted. Second time I've said it. Wow, 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 wow. Son. Lasted 49 days as Prime Minister of the UK. What food item published by the tabloid, the Daily Star, outlasted the XMP? PM, sorry. Plum tomato, Stanmore's biryani, iceberg lettuce, a Granny Smith apple. Five, four, three, Two, one. Okay, so, uh, correct. The answer was an iceberg lettuce. Point of order from Wasim Faza. SMP of According to Google. According to Google. We will stop there. Hassan. <laughs> so, why are you Googling in the first place? SMP of 59 seats. Independents have seven. Right, um, it said fourth place, right? Yeah, and the fourth is independent. Hello, Kumel, to Sukeiro. Oh, right, do we have a, a reply to the point of order here? I feel a bit like Akil Kanani here. Go on. A group is not a party. It, you, MPs sit within, within groupings of 
MPs. Independents are a grouping of MPs of different parties together. <laughs> It was cleverly worded. You've got to give him that, Wasim. Better than Order! Asant <laughs> <laughs> Wasim, Asant. Right. Next question. Nah, I thought we had uh, had it there. I thought this was the last time we're going to be doing this quiz. Which former Prime Minister said running through a field of wheat was the naughtiest thing they've ever done? <laughs> Gordon Brown, Edward Heath, Theresa May, Margaret Thatcher, or Mumtaz Qasim? I think maybe 50%, if not more, I've never seen Margaret Thatcher even, or were Ooh. there when she was in power. I definitely wasn't there. Theresa May was never steady or stable, was she? Edward Heath, I don't know. And finally, Gordon Brown, who, Bicharo. Right, let's move on. Okay, Mason, what's the answer? Theresa May is the correct answer. Right, let's see how good everyone's politics is. So, Britain elected to leave the European Union on the 23rd of June 2016. But when did the UK really leave the EU? Because we left the EU a few times. Yeah. And then our official left, and our official <laughs> Five more seconds. Shamba, I think you're cheating, huh? Okay, so let's see the results. Thirty first of January twenty twenty. What do you think, Arif? When did we actually leave the EU? I don't think we've left even at the moment. <laughs> I don't think we've left. He's thinking about when Hujat left Kuwait for a little while. We're not talking about that one. Aya, ah, yeah, correct answer. 31st January 2020. Last question of the politics round. The government is looking to pass a law which deports asylum seekers to another country for offshore processing and asylum. Which country is it? Shez Arusha? Tasmania, Albania, Rwanda, or Romania? Okay, Imran Lee, can we finish up the quiz? The last question, close it. Okay, and the correct. Okay, so this is very interesting because um, Abdul Uncle, Abdul Datu actually, he just got his um, 
his letter to be deported. But I don't think it was Rwanda. I think it was somewhere else. Abdul Uncle, can you shed some light, please? Where would everybody like me to go? I need answers, please. Thank you very much. That's my hometown. It's close enough to Rwanda, right? Okay. Ahsan. Um, and Shez voluntarily said he would move back to Arusha. Thank you, Shez. Right. Answers, Imran Lee. Correct answer is Rwanda. We have two more questions. One after this. My bad. Hi, uh, oh, I can't be really bothered to read this so long. The 1998 Belfast Good Friday Agreement was signed by then British Prime Minister Tony Blair. The Irish. Woof. Ali Jawad, can you help me with this, please? Can you read it, please? Oh, wow. I can't read that. Bismillah. Your dad didn't send you to John Lyon Private School for no reason, Ali Jawad. Come on. Well, you got a two for one deal on that one. So. <laughs> uh, Asagari, why don't you help your brother out? He's losing hair over this. As, as am I. <laughs> the 1998 Belfast Good Friday Agreement was signed by the British Prime Minister Tony Blair, the Irish Tisish Bertie Ahern, and political leaders in Northern Ireland. But what did the agreement signify? A new British Irish trade deal, an asylum program between the US, UK, and Ireland to send refugees to Northern Ireland. An end to the period known as the Troubles and political violence in Northern Ireland, marking the start of power-sharing government in the region, or finally a conclusion to Northern Ireland's political deadlock, which was marked by trade with the EU and violence on the streets. Ah, that was well worth the 20 grand a term. <laughs> <laughs> Gogai has a comment, please. Yes, Gogai. No, oh, come on. Yeah, the tree is falling. Okay. There's a massive tree that's fallen in Warren Lane. So if you're driving down Warren Lane tonight, make sure you drive slowly. Otherwise, your car will be probably, or avoid Warren Lane completely. I think if it's fallen, even if you drive slowly, go, go. It's still going to be. Right. So. Go, guy. Always a pleasure, Goga. Right, so on a serious note, Warren Lane, Warren, Warren Lane, uh, trees fallen down, massive trees fallen down. So please try and avoid Warren Lane on your way home. Okay. And the results are in. Asgarli, correct answer? Yeah, that one. <laughs> Google? Is it Google? And final round, I think final question of the round, Imran Lee. question. Who was the first Muslim to hold one of the four traditional big offices of state? Sajid Javid, Baroness Warsi, Sadiq Khan, or Hamza Yusuf? There is a, I think there's a problem with this question. I'll tell you once the answers come in. That's exactly my point of order. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what is in. Okay, so here we have Sajid Javid at 75%, Baroness Warsi 19, Sadiq Khan 3, and Hamza Yusuf 3%. But Mason, what is the problem with Sajid Javid? Where's Mason? Right there. What's the problem with him? He has no hair. <laughs> That's the pot calling the kettle black, isn't it? <laughs> right. The problem is, Imran Lee, what is the problem when we have Sajid Javid up there? He as has a one Muslim the name, but. Yeah, I don't think he identifies actually as, as a Muslim, correct? 
So, but um, either way, most of you got it correct. So the answer <laughs> was uh, Sajid Javid. If you didn't put that down, hands up if you didn't put that down because you thought he's not a Muslim. That's why. Okay, uh, well tough. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you lost out. <laughs> right, that brings us to the, the leaderboard. leaderboard. Shamba. Shamba. Is that Washamba? Akili from next year, I think. You know what? I think it is. So they, they're always a group together, Washamba. They mentioned it, but this time they have a secret ingredient. <laughs> Arif Uncle, <laughs> which school, which private school did you go to? No, no, no. Just go to Hal Knox. <laughs> <laughs> We're done? Okay, so Washamba number one, Bandez number two, Bandes. not for long. 313 in third place, Nudies in fourth place, and who are the big marshmallows? That is a very weird team. Online, Online. right, number five. Okay, let's move on to the sports round. Shane Whilst we're waiting, Wasim. please help yourself with the fruits and the drinks. Shane, which are on you'll your enjoy table. this one. And Wasim, which team is the most accomplished football team in the UK? Liverpool, Manchester United, most trophies, most most trophies, most trophies. One water, please. Five, four, three, two, one. I can still hear Liverpool fans moaning why their team is not up here. <laughs> right. So the results are in. We have Liverpool, United, Rangers, Celtic, and Arsenal. <laughs> All right, so Imran Lee. Talking about football, it gave me some memories of back in the day. There was only one guy who used to play with short shorts, Mr. Shams Tommy, aka Shams Nega. <laughs> Tell us, Shams. We, we are live. Can you just explain that, please? Because everyone's just had a very rude word if you don't explain. Shams Uncle, tell us a story about your footballing legends back in Mombasa. How many goals did you score? I don't know. <laughs> Not own goals. Goals, goals. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Any story about <laughs> No, uh, well, uh, we used to play without shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said shorts there. No, we have shorts, we shoes. Yeah. Uh, son. Well, sports in Africa was different, yeah? Why was it different? Um, yeah, original, if original. we played with, you know, uh, no equipment, you know. You know, if you ask my son, he needs hundred pound. To kick kuro kariya, eh? Kick kick kuro kariya. Dil tiram dasi. We are playing with the heart. Ah, sant. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. And is this true about the short shorts? No, no. I, I always used to wear green luminous shorts. Mumtaz uncle said something oh, different. No, no. <laughs> Just now. Do you remember? Do you remember Shams? As far as my memory of Shams is concerned, I've only seen him in swimming trunks. <laughs> I regret. Every time I go to Mumtaz uncle, I regret. <laughs> right. Rangers was the correct answer. 
Wasim. Point of order, Wasim. Point of order. What did you do? United? United have won the most. I agree. I agree. I agree. Why? It's and not if like you count more Mamp, Jamash, you then get SJ have really been the most successful. So, which player has the most appearances by an English player in UEFA club competitions? Wayne Rooney, Jamie Carragher, Paul Scholes, or John Terry? Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Okay, let's have the results in. Oh, so uh, Waza and Karaga in twenty five percent, Scolzi in thirty two percent. And John Terry, we don't know where he is really. So, the correct answer was Jamie Carragher. It had to be a scouser. Unexpected. Unexpected. <coughs> Zane, what did you get? Zane, what did you get? A team of Carragher's. Because Virgie was saying Harry Kane, I could hear him. <laughs> <laughs> Spurs fan. <laughs> Okay, Imran Lee. In which winter sport are the terms stale fish and mule kick used? Skiing, bobsleigh, ice hockey, or snowboarding? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Let's close the answers. So, if there's any one person in this room that knows anything about stale fish, <laughs> tell us a thing. What do you think? Uh, it's snowboarding, actually. Snowboarding. Not reach food. No. Right, so the correct answer, snowboarding, ah, sand. Uh, very nice one. Okay, next Lucky question. Guess. Lucky guess. <laughs> Which African country was the first to qualify for a football World Cup? Ghana, Egypt, Senegal, or Corte? Côte d'Ivoire. The Black Stars, the Pharaohs, the Dakar Lions, or the Elephants. Five, four, three, two, one. Right. Results are in. Oh, Sheikh Noura wouldn't be happy. 
Ghana, 17%. Egypt, 55 Senegal, 14 And Ivory Coast, 14 as well. And the correct answer is Egypt. Well done. Okay. Next question. Who was the first player to reach 10,000 runs in test cricket? What is good old Sunil Gavaskar? What is our very own beefy Ian Botham? The classy Brian Lara? Or the Don himself, Don Bradman? Sheikh, I hope you're not leaving. The Islamic round is coming up. Ahsan. Ahsan. In a few, in a few. Five, four, three, two, one. The results are in. Okay. But there's now. one observation. Huh. There's no Pakistani player on there. <laughs> Oh, the only Pakistan in the room, our very own president, Sipten Alibai. So, Cricket. give us, give us a story or two of your, how you grew up in Pakistan and how many, how many test centuries did you score? I have lost count, you know, after so many. Yeah. More important question: How many mankads did you do? How many mankads? That. <laughs> no, no, we used to play a lot of cricket. In fact, that's all we did. We played cricket, cricket, cricket all day long. Every place we found a place. Huh? Uh, sports come natural to me, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, so, what do you think the answer is? Uh, well, I've put uh, Gavaskar, yeah. yeah. Really? Do you see that? Did you see that answer? Yeah, sports yeah. comes naturally to me. It doesn't matter who I'm playing table tennis with. <laughs> it matters how I'm playing. Hashtag Why? Bojo. You were only in Gawa Youths? Only us girls got that job. Oh, Ah, son. EC team, you're very dead. We need more life. Thank God the doctor is with you. Where did the doctor go? Ah, son, Sipten, uncle. And the answer. Gavaskar. How many minutes was the longest recorded point in the history of tennis? 12, 17, 24, or 5, 4, 3, 2, <coughs> 1. Right. Results are in. Okay. So. <laughs> 32 seconds. So. Ahsan, Ahsan. Right. Let's see. Imranli, what do we have in store for this question? There was no <laughs> answer for 32 seconds, but someone who knows all about time <laughs> and 32 seconds. AJJ, <laughs> what are your thoughts on the time? Bit of background story. Once Ali Jawad was saying Qasida, and uh, I think everyone knows. Just like Liz Truss had the shortest ever term, <laughs> Ali Jawad got up there, said Afdalus Salam, the first chorus collapsed and made his way out. 32 seconds altogether. So Ali Jawad, please tell us about uh, tennis. We know you're a tennis player as well. Uh, we actually had a bit of an argument on our team. We didn't think it could be 29 minutes. Um, but I think I might have been proven wrong. So uh, wait to see the answer. See what happens. And uh, which players do you think it was? Uh, Lord knows. I don't no? Uncle, <laughs> who do you think it was? But where is that? That was the longest match, maybe. Yeah. Uncle, you had an answer? Okay. Interesting. 
So firstly, but just to finish off on that point, I think it's, we have a lot of reciters, beautiful reciters coming here. We, until you're a reciter, you don't know how nerve-wracking uh, it is. So, uh, loud salawat for all our reciters. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa and AJJ, I got you, don't worry. Yeah, and because AJJ's timekeeping was so good, Bashir Uncle gives him Imam Hussein's Qasida every year. Asant <laughs> Bashir Uncle. <laughs> right. So, who were the two who were playing in this longest match? Imrani, do you know? They were saying Mahu and Isna. Now, that was the longest match. match yeah. But what was the longest point? No, Anyone know? Isna, Jawad Tejani. But what? Alcaraz versus Djokovic? You think the same? Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know. I'm just asking. So <laughs> We'll go with that. Next question. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> the we faster... Oh, it's Imran Lee. The answer was 29 minutes. The fastest goal scored in Premier League history came after 7.69 seconds. Who scored it? Wasim, you remember Timu Puki? Norwich. Diafra Sako, Shane Long, or a very own Dembaba. Why is he our very own Imranli? Because he's a Muslim. He did say them before. Good save. Five, four, three, two, one. Results are in. MD, Q for your father. That that joke. <laughs> Come on. And the correct answer is the irony <laughs> that Long has scored the shortest goal. <laughs> right. So. We will have one more question to end this round and then we're going to take a quick five minute break where chai is going to be served. So because it's going to be a bit hard to get through, we'll give five minutes for the volunteers to serve chai and then we will continue with uh, the rest of the rounds. Next question. Final question. What is the national sport of Pakistan? <laughs> Pakistan Zindabad. A. Football. B, hockey, C, cricket, D, be cricket. squash, or E, table tennis. <laughs> Politics. <laughs> Arif, Arif is coming for the next EC. He's already Politics. joined the table. The wrong table, but he's joined the table. Kabaddi. <laughs> I'm coming to you for that, sir. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Right. Let's see what the results are. No one said football. Right. Before we um, before we ask. Uh, Sipten and Ali. Ali, you're in this as well, sorry. Before we ask them, uh, there was a very interesting comment made from the SJ table. Of course, sports related. Let's see what they have to say. Was, was, what do you think? I said Kabaddi and uh, Ali said corruption. <laughs> ah, sant. Kabri, kabri, kabri. Right, Imran Lee, are we going to get uh, a bit of uh, an insight? Yeah. What did you write? <laughs> what did you say? Cricket or hockey? Of course, it's hockey. Why is hockey so big? Hockey is, is big. That's a national sport, yeah. yeah. Did you ever play hockey over there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, come on, MD. No, I didn't mean that. I promise I didn't mean that. What sport hasn't he played? Then Uncle said he's been playing cricket all his life, so I didn't know whether. Does he even play Gololi? 
I thought maybe when he hits the six and the bat breaks in half, <laughs> then it turns into... That joke, please, MD. Higher. Right, so uh, the correct answer, I need to stop, huh? <coughs> is hockey. And here are the leaderboard numbers one to five. Bandes Khuda! Ari Funko, still keeping them in. <laughs> 313. Nobody. Where is everyone else? AV, where are you guys? Huh? Ten. Ten. SJ, where are you guys? Mustafa Uncle, you've gone quiet. Oh, sixth. Mustafa six. Uncle is six more, Hajj? No, oh, okay, <laughs> just checking. Alireza? Seven. MJ? 27. Wow. That's very truthful of your son. <laughs> right. We will take a quick four, five minute break. Anyone needs to use the washroom, follow Mumtaz Qasim, please. Anyone else who needs chai, then please take a seat. And anyone wants to know about how big this log is that has fallen on Warren Lane, Gogai will give you pictures. <laughs> Can you please bring your own copos as well? Lota. Okay, uh, three, four minutes and then we'll be back, inshallah.
60 seconds and you'll be starting again. 60 seconds, please take your seats. Those brothers outside in the bathroom, 60 seconds. Volunteers, this is not sour. You only served the SJ sugar. seniors with Mori Chai. Sugar. They want leaded tea, coming. please. Bring sugar. It's Pichai. coming. And insulin, please. Asan. Ahsan, let's take our seats, please. We have about, I think, three, three rounds left. Ahsan, okay, can we please take our seats, get our devices ready, and we will be starting again. We'll be going a bit quicker now. It's already 10 to 12. Half past? Half past? End time? Yeah. Okay, let's go, brothers, please. We're already late. Abbas Gulamali is sweating. Bashir Uncle is tapping his watch. Abbas Gulamali is here for the, till the end. He's brought his packet of biscuits. <laughs> Can you share your biscuits, Abbas Gulamali? No? Back lunch, Leia Gautu. Okay, thank you. So, the next round is a little bit different. We tried this last year as well. It is, shh, thank you. It is Guess the Reciter. So, we're going to need a bit of silence for this. A small clip will be played. Thank you, brothers. It is going to be... It's going to be a short clip. Sorry, Shams? No, not Indian music. Short clip of recitations. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'm good, I'm good. Right, let's, uh, Imran Lee, let's take it away with number one. <clears throat> I hope this works. One second. AV? AV. We've started the question. It, it, we've already started the question. Okay, so that was the voice of which member of the community? Let's just read out the, uh, the name. Was it Haider Virji? Was it Abbasili Jagani? Or was it Shan Hussein? <coughs> Make that one job, huh? Ah. <laughs> if you blame Mukitin, please send email to Mukhi at Kujat. 
No, don't do that. Don't Okay. Right, results are in. Almost. Five, four, three, two, one. Imran, who do you think it was? Haydar Virji. <coughs> and the right answer was, in fact, Haydar Virji. Fantastic, 69%. Right, next question. We're going to move faster to save time. Okay, so was that the heavenly voice of Muntazir Jafar, the heavenly voice of Ali Akbar Dewji, or the voice of, <laughs> of my brother Imran Ali Khaki Jafar? Right, so. <laughs> it takes one Jafar to know the other. <laughs> okay, so. Whose voice was it? And just shout out to Muntazir Jafar, who is in Iran. He's actually on dial-up, and he is uh, currently taking part. Muntazir is in Iran. He is, um, uh, he, is, um, in Iran. he is creating as many kids as he can over there. And <laughs> on the side, he's also studying a little bit, I think. So Muntazir, if you're listening, salams. Okay. Wow, <laughs> when I said that, everyone whoever voted for Muntazir then. <laughs> <Good job. laughs> so he must this have voted for himself. I wish, I wish I could recite like this amazing, amazing voice. Ali Akbar Dewji. What a fantastic voice, mashallah. All three of them have. <laughs> Next question. Is it me? Is it me? Shh. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Hamdani, Moraj, or Mauji? The results are in. <laughs> so, last time we had a similar round. Imran Lee, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> and the actual person that whose voice it was, was Abbas Ali Muraj. Guess who was the only one that got it wrong? <laughs> Abbas, Abbas Ali Muraj. <laughs> <laughs> and the correct answer this time is... Hossein Mauji. Dream team. Great Dream young team, talent Marshall. in our community. Next question. Let's have our ears out. Fatima se Mola Ali ki shadi Jibreel Murtaza ko Dulha bana rahe Correction. Correction. Okay, the correction okay, was... Okay, we're going to close this. Five, four... One minute. Uh, three. Mustafa Anka. Two. One. Okay. So Wait. there's a very emotional father-in-law <laughs> standing up for the fruits of his future. Get it? Mapera. <laughs> Hiya, Mustafa Uncle, please, what is your point of order? Yes. Uh, Kumail, his name is not Mapera, Merali. Who is Kumail? Kumail, my son. Kumail, oh, this, this is a feud that happened in Azim Merali's house <laughs> and apparently he, Kumail got told off. So you're telling him off in front of everyone again. <laughs> Why? This much, this much love for your Jamai? 
I know how it wow, feels. Wow, wow, wow. I know how it feels. Ahsan. Okay, so results are in. Correct answer was Yasir Merali. Musfangal, every time you put your hand up, it's very dangerous. It's extra 10,000 being added on here. Higher. Next question. Okay, so whose voice was that? Was it Ali Jawa Jaffa? Was it Azgrali Jaffa? Or was it the one that they stand in the shadow of? Hussein Virji. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. I could see there was a bit of a thing happening there. They because weren't sure whether the clip was 32 seconds, shorter. I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, the what answers are in. And what was the discussion? Who do you think it was? <laughs> it's you? Sure. Ask girlie. Uh, HV, the mentor. What do you think? Mentor. Okay, so... Um, before we actually get to the result, um, that was a beautiful voice. Um, and yes, in fact, let me just show you. Yes, it was Ali Jawad. However, there is a story that we need to go through. Asgali, catch, catch Asgali, higher. <laughs> right, so Asgali needs to know, it needs to tell everyone, and that wasn't a racist joke. Asgali needs to know. Why is it that I've just given him a banana? That's good. In 2019, uh, I had the pleasure of going for Arba'in with uh, none other than Muhammad Datu. And uh, there was a Mushaira program at the end of the trip, and he asked me what I was going to recite, to uh, which I showed him my words. Took my phone back, went and recited the last line of the uh, of the Qasida. I started the recitation, and in the middle he'd planted a word, uh, which was banana. <laughs> now, banana, sebi, hota, you know, it sounded pretty similar. So I committed the first time uh, with the line, and uh, I thought, no, this is this doesn't work. So I thought, let me try again. And I see Imran Lee with a similar exp expression uh, standing in front of me. Muntazir Jaffa was there. And uh, MD was crying behind his phone <laughs> filming. Um, so I went again, and then I realized that he'd added a word uh, into my casida. And uh, since then, uh, the banana joke has been coined. So. <laughs> so to be fair, this was a few years ago. But us girlie, through the whole trip, every time he sees me, he either punches me, or pu pinches me, or something, he was irritating me. That day, he's about to go up, I'm like, Oscar, what are you reciting? He's like, look, I took it, and I was so angry with him, I just added the word banana. Now, in, in Urdu, banana actually can go. So he started, Tere fa ke se banana. <laughs> and then he stopped, and then he recited again. Three times that line was recited. In the end, he went, Tere fa ke se salawat, and he just walked off. <laughs> five minutes later, five minutes later, he was like, MD, did you, did you add something to the words? Do we have it? Oh, amazing. They have the video. Asgali, uh, just before you play the clip, uh, Layla Qadr just finished, so I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 27th night. 27th <laughs> night. That's right. It's always after the session, isn't it, Muki? <laughs> <laughs> Give us a minute. This is worth being delayed for, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Shall 
Should we come back to it? Should we carry on? Carry on. <laughs> Ask Ali, may you be rewarded with fruits from Jannah. <laughs> A loud salawat, please. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Okay. Next one, which reciter is? It's closed. No, this is the next one. No, go back. I think you closed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, read it. Are we good? Yeah, we should be open. Hi. Shh. <laughs> Okay. We get the result in. Guys are coming. Avi? Avi team, what's happening? Are we are we good? Five, four, closed, three, it's closed. two, one. It's closed. Yeah. The correct answer is Muntazir Ramji. Santam. Unlucky. Just, <laughs> just on this note, the we should take a moment to really appreciate the the bank of beautiful Quran reciters that we have in our community, and more so an appreciation for the parents as well as the teachers in our community. Starting all the way from Malim Murtaza Bandali, who has made a comeback this Shah Ramadan to teach again. I don't know if anyone has been to his classes, but uh, nostalgia there. To, to hear him teach again is just uh, is a godsend. So um, I think a loud salawat for everyone involved. Next question. Small, medium, large. <laughs> Was it Riaz Rajbali? The first, <laughs> Rajbali the second, <laughs> or was it Rajbali the third? I think this is quite quick. Mm. Right, three, three two, one. one. Hussein, who is it? Are you sure? Wasn't this a duet? <laughs> I think they muted your mic and then <laughs> they took that one. <laughs> right. How many have we got left? Last one. Shh. 
Let's make this quick. Who do we think it was, A, B, or C? Three, two, one. Two more. We're waiting for two more participants. There we go. And the correct answer is our very own Ali Manji. Ahsant. Right, leaderboard. Oh, I guess someone is slowly becoming Shamba again. Bandes <laughs> Khuda. Shabab al Kitchen. Who is Shabab al Kitchen? Where are they? Ah, sad. Oh, your name changed. Okay. Sorry. Number four is 313, and in number five is Banana Upar Lanat Beshuma. Okay. Okay, Islamic questions. Let's go. So apart from Lady Fatima to Zahra Salamullah alayha, which other lady was told by her father? Fidaha Abuha. May her father be sacrificed for her. Say the Zainab, say the Ma'asuma, Bibi Shahrbanu, or say the Sakina Salamullah alayhima. Why this is, is the okay? round where we'll all get 100% inshallah. Why is this okay? You can take a rest this round. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. If you haven't, then just guess. And done. Results are in. The correct answer. Sayyidah Ma'asuma. Very close. Inshallah, we are... Gifted the ziyara of Sayyidah Ma'asuma. Next question. Which figure in history is Imam Ali compared to? Nabi Yusha bin Noon, Nabi Khidr, Nabi Harun, or Nabi Musa? Okay. Three. Two, one. Uh, okay, results are in. Now, this was the lecture just after the Hor Al Ain one, I think. So I think everyone turned off after that one. But Waza was awake. Waza, the answer? Nabi Harun. Waza, you had so much confidence in your answer. <laughs> but the answer <laughs> is you, Shabin. <laughs> You know when the question went on? Waza goes, I know this one, MD, I know it. <laughs> Hiya. Next question. Waza, toilet break, please. Hiya. Imam Ali alayhi salam sustained two heavy losses in the Battle of Safin. Who were they? Khuzayma ibn Thabit, Salman al Muhammadi, or al Farsi, Awais al Qarni, or Abu Ayyun al Ansari. Five, four, three, two, one. Remember, there are two correct answers here. Okay, closing up. And the correct answers are number one, Khuzayma bin Thabit, and number two, Awais al Qarni, the beloved companion of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, just a shout out to the brothers who put together the quiz because after every Islamic question, there is actually a reference, which is brilliant, except when I looked at the second one about Yusha, uh, no, about the, um, yeah, Yusha one, the reference is TikTok.com <laughs> and Wiki Shia. So we'll take what they say, inshallah, as correct. 
Next question. According to Ayatollah Sistani, during Salah, which two surahs are counted as one? Surah al humaza and Surah Al-Feel, Surah Quraysh and Surah Ma'un, Surah Al-Duha and Surah Sharh, Surah Al-Qadr and Surah al bayyinah Who are we going to make recite these surahs? Figo's hand went straight up there. Figo, <coughs> Ahsan Figo, Ahsan. So what this means is that if you start one of these surahs in salah, you must recite the second one as well. So in one rak'ah, you will end up reciting three surah. Five, four, three, two, one. Results are in. Right. Um, Ex-principal and very respected Alyaskar uncle, um, please let us know what the answer is. Ahsan, Surat al-Duha and Surat al-Sharh or Inshirah, Alam Nashrah. And Mu'allim, if you could also tell us which other two surahs there are that are also linked together. If you recite one, you must recite the second. And... Ahsan, Surat Al-Feel and Surat Quraysh must be recited together as well. Next question. You got that right? Wes? Okay. <laughs> Imi. In the science of hadith, which of the following is not a fundamental category of hadith? Hassan, Muathaq, Mutawatir, or Da'if? And in this question, there's a phone a friend. Abbas Gulamali is sitting at the back. Abbas, give us a wave. Thank you, Abbas. <laughs> Abbas, uh, Abbas sleeps with hadith books. His pillow. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and the actual answer was Mutawatir. Abbas? Yeah? Thank you. Ahsant. Right, quickly, next question. From the following types of water, which of the following cannot be used for wudu? Rainwater that is slightly polluted, water from Ben Nevis that is mixed with sticks and stones, Rose water or all of the above? Boys, Sistani.org is a much better reference. Ahsant. They use Sistani.org. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Results are in. Okay. And the answer is rose water is correct. Rose water is considered as flavored water and therefore it is mudaf. Which of the following ziyara is considered a comprehensive ziyara and a theological text surrounding imama? Is it ziyara Ashura, ziyara Ali Yasin, ziyara Aminullah, or ziyara Jamia Al Kabira? I know Zaid recites all four of these every night, so SubhanAllah, Zaid will be coming to you just now. Shams uncle, this is the most important round. <laughs> the next question is on Surah Shams, just wait. It's not really, but just Shams. wait. <laughs> Asant. Right, five, four, three, 
two, one. Correct answer. Ziyarat Jami'a Kabira. Okay. The final round for Islamic questions. <laughs> Don't worry, Waz. Okay. Next question. When, well, Nabiullah is a question whether he was a prophet or not. When Luqman was advising his son, what did he say about people who commit shirk? Associating anything else with Allah. Shaitan has invited them to the hellfire. Allah does not like everyone self-deluded and boastful. They are those who do not reflect. They have committed a great injustice. Five, four, three, two, one, and we are going to get the results. Shez, are we good? Yeah. What was your answer, Shez? Number four. Hands up if you put number four. Ahsant, Ahsant. And that is the correct answer. They have committed a great injustice, right? Sheikh Al Aziz, we are here with our uh, resident alim. Uh, he wasn't with us last year, actually. Last year we did have Sheikh Afzal here, we had Sheikh Muhammad Yasin, we had Sheikh Zuhair. This year, Alhamdulillah, we have our resident alim with us to give us some advice, just like Luqman gave his son. We are now ending the holy month, Sheikh. So, some nasiha. Ah, said so. All right, question for you guys. <laughs> no. What are the advices of Luqman to his son? Should I get a table or? <laughs> huh? Extra points. What are the advices that Luqman gives to his son? Sorry? The walks off? Walk softly on the earth. What does that mean? That's beautiful. That's the exact one I had in my head. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. What does that mean? Walk softly on the earth. Walk right. Sorry, sorry? Ah, arrogance. Yeah, it's a, it's a very powerful one. You find that naturally, naturally, the more resources we have, the more fadila that Allah has given us, it creates arrogance in our hearts. How do you determine whether arrogance is there in the heart? That's a very important question. How do you recognize that there is arrogance? Even if there is a speck of arrogance in your heart, how do you recognize that? MD. We work hard on the earth. Oh, so we show boastful that. characters, characteristics. How? You may not necessarily say something, you may not necessarily do something. In your actions or even in the way you look at something. It may not manifest through words or actions. In your heart. How? In your thoughts. How? When you think you are greater than anyone Ahsan. else. The moment you feel that you are better than someone else, it could be a feeling, it could be a thought. That's one of the preambles of arrogance. That's why you find in many narrations, it says that you block that out completely. Humble yourself. Yeah? Ahsan, salla ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma salla ala Muhammad. Ahsan, Shaykh, Ahsan. Ahsan Allah alayk. And may Allah accept your efforts this month, Sheikh, as well. Jami'an, inshallah. Right, leaderboard. Let's see how many of you took a hit with the Islamic questions. Wow, mashallah. The Rafida did so well in the Islamic round <laughs> that they came ekdotin. Hey, they came third. The Rafida. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who, who lost out here? Who went? 313 went. 313. <laughs> that you shot question really costed SJ, huh? <coughs> Where did they go? I'm still scrolling. Where did they go? <laughs> Shez, help me out here. 15. 15. Higher. 
We've got two more rounds left. One is a Stanmore round, which is coming next. So this everyone should get, especially the EC. No pressure, no pressure. Bismillah, Imran Lee. When did Hujja Stanmore first open its doors? 1968, 79, 83, or 88? There's always, there's always some uh, ikhtilaf. Couldn't have a question of Hairfield because we haven't opened it. Couldn't have a question of when Hujja Hairfield opened it. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. So we have um, zero percent said sixty-eight, seventy-nine was eight percent, eighty-three was fifty-two percent, and eighty-eight was forty percent. Now, before Stanmore took over, this was a very famous. Um, this is a very famous. Landmark for King James, I think it was. Uh, I think you were there, wasn't it? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't think I was. <laughs> um, tell us, you've been at Stanmore for, mashallah, many years. So please let us know, you know, what do you remember about this? I think I came here in 1991 from Birmingham. So when I came here, it was a collection of marquees. Yeah. And... Uh, that's all what I can remember about Stanmore. So not much has changed, really. Hi, <laughs> Ahsan. <laughs> so, um, of course, it's always an emotional attachment. We've grown up here. We've lived here. You know, for, for many of us, Stanmore is not just a spiritual hub. It's also a social hub. So I think... Um, SJ. I know you're not really part of Stanmore, but come on, just a little bit of respect, please. <laughs> yes, Shaz. Or Sheikh. Sheikh, is Sheikh here? Sheikh! What was it, Tajud? Okay, when Sheikh comes, then we've got a question for him. It's a very hypothetical question. <laughs> Sheikh, we have a, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're playing a sport, for instance, can you think you're better than someone in a sport? This is not specifically about shares, though. <laughs> but if you play a sport, are you allowed to feel that you're better than someone else? <laughs> no, Sheikh, that's why we called you out of there, bro. <laughs> No, it's a very good question. What do you think? Honestly, what do you think? <coughs> Sheza never thought about this, though. <laughs> How do you define arrogance? Faliyatanafasil <laughs> mutanafisun. Okay, look. One of the names of Allah is Al Mutakabbir. Takabbur means arrogance. Allah is Al Mutakabbir. Does that mean that Allah is arrogant? Think about that. Can we say that Allah has the right to be arrogant? Maybe arrogance is not the right word to use. So now we need to define what arrogance is. Arrogance by definition is that if you think you're better than someone, that affects how you treat the other person. You belittle them through your words, through your actions. If you think you're better than someone in sports, that feeling is fine. You've got better skills, you've invested more time in learning that sport. But that the moment you start treating the other person as if they're beneath you, that comes into the folds of arrogance. <coughs> Does Allah, so when we say that Allah is al-mutakabbir, yeah, that Allah is arrogant, in parenthesis, Allah doesn't need to belittle anyone. He's already up there. Does that make sense? Allah doesn't gain anything from belittling someone. Nor does he lose something when he elevates someone. Ahsan, Ahsan, Sheikh. Thank you. You can retreat back to the Salat al layl and please pray for us as well. Ahsan. We have a point of order from Bashir yeah. Uncle. Just before that, so Shaz, in a few years' time, in a few years' time, when you do feel that, then let us know. Ahsan. Thank you. Point of order. 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I think 83 we bought the place, the, but the question is said we opened the door. It would be 88. So on that note, Hujat Hairfield, when are we opening the doors? <laughs> Ahsan. <laughs> so if then our uncle would like to answer the question. More importantly, at Hujat Stanmo, when are we opening the windows? Huh? <laughs> So let's all donate, please. We don't want to feel cold. We need window. G Did you get the point? <laughs> Wes, come on. After that Harun incident, I don't want to go back you to it. <laughs> 88, okay. I'll leave that for the, for the boys to sort out. If anything, you'll get the up for it, though. <laughs> okay, this next question is classic. Is it you or me? What ayat is Sibten Ali Bai's favorite ayah? Whenever he does a speech, don't shout it out. It's a tough one. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm shocked that people did not get this fully correct. They don't listen, number one. Yeah, number two, I think we need a rendition from Murshid ourselves. Please stand up. You're this addressing the crowd. This is your moment. Hassan, do you have one minute to say whatever you want, Sibtanakal, but it has to start with... Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Iya ka na'abudu wa iya ka nasta'in. Ahsant. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Can you say it? The speech. I touch it. So you will all hear the speech, inshallah, on the Eid day. But I will just tell you a very uh, small um, shairi which will, inshallah, lift you. Ahsant. Okay. I think these days, more than iya ka, we hear these shairis. It says so uh, correctly, Islam ke daaman mein bas iske siwa kya hai? Islam ke daaman mein bas iske siwa kya hai? Ek zarbe yadullah hai aur ek sajdae shabiri. Nare hai dari. Ahsant iya ka na'budu wa iya ka nasta'een. And inshallah on Eid day, We'll move on to Ihdina Sarat al Mustaqim, inshallah. <laughs> Ahsan, Sibtan, Uncle Ahsan, thank you for being such a great sport. <laughs> Delayed response. All right. How many destinations does the first floor AV desk transmit to? 40, 20, 35. 27 or the thousands online this is a bit unfair because the AV team are there it's like asking was there an Islamic question <laughs> I didn't say me I said you I didn't say <laughs> Ahsan, five four Three, two, one. I'm sure this is a lot of a, a guess for many of you. Correct answer is forty. Did Next the question. did the AV get that right? Next question. How tall is the new chandelier? Three meters. 4.2 meters, 5 meters, or 2.78 meters. Typical Jaffa's table. I heard them saying 3 million, 4.2 million, <laughs> 5 million. <laughs> <laughs> it's not school fees here, Ali Jawad. 
Asif, salam. We're coming to you. We're coming. Asanta, Asif, and Uncle. Five, four, three, two, one. Results are in. 4.2 has the most votes. And the answer is five meters. <laughs> Next question. How much power does the new heating system draw? Not that type of power, Oscarly. How much power does the new heating system draw? Five, four, three, two, one. And the correct answer, which most of us are guessing probably, 10 amps. Ten amps. Not bad. It's not bad at all. Very good. Mashallah. No, I'm guessing they don't switch it on. That's why it's... <laughs> Hi, uh, Imran Lee. Approximately how many kilos of rice will Stanmore have cooked by the end of the month of Ramadan? 1,400 kilos, 1,800, 1,250 or a thousand. That's a lot of kilos of rice. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's as many kilos of rice Ilyas Govani has in one helping. Wah, wah, wah. Where is Ilyas? Hashtag GWG. Five, four, three, two, one. How many kilos of rice will Stanma have by the end of the holy month? The correct answer. 1,400 kilos of rice. MashaAllah. Imran Lee, who are we with over there? Gains with Govinci. How many calories do you have in one helping? In one helping? Yeah. What about seven, eight hundred? MashaAllah, MashaAllah. And how many helpings a day? <laughs> Keep it up a humble three, not more than that. Humble three. So, Govinci is very famous for his like one-liners and like his, his statements. And I had the honor and privilege to be his best man. And I had the honor and privilege to also overhear something that he told his father-in-law on his wedding night. <laughs> Shall we mention that? No. <laughs> we we'll leave it at that. Th does Shamshir Uncle Shamshir remember? Uncle, do you remember what he told you? <laughs> no. 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 He's obviously not the Take favorite. a guess. <laughs> no idea. Take a guess. You have to guess. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that will remain a secret in Runley. <laughs> right. <laughs> Next question. So approximately how many kilos of sugar will we have used for chai by the end of Ramadan? Oof. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Correct answer. Oh, 150 kilograms of sugar. We want the reference. Wiki Stanmore. Ah, yeah, next question. What is the largest number of cars we have parked across Hujjat, Rugby, 
and the place next door and the center next Mandir. door the one that shall not be named for one program in the past year 1720 cars 1650 cars 1410 or 1250 any cpv here Um, go guys, the only CPV here, I think. You are. You're a bit of jack of all. You think it's 1650? Straight away, the numbers are gone. <laughs> <laughs> they have so much faith in Go Guy, man. All right, results are in. And the correct answer is 1410. Bora Kitchen, go guy. Bora Kitchen. <laughs> Higher leaderboard. Washamba returns to the top. Washamba. <laughs> Bandes are dropping slowly as we predicted. <laughs> Shabab Al Kitchen, just because of those few questions. The Rafida have dropped to number four. <laughs> and finally, bananas are at number five. Right. This is now the last round. This is always the fun round. Oh, okay. Announce, announce what we're going to do in Ranli. So this round is the language round. And this time, we will not ask the questions. We will pick on people to ask the questions. Starting off with... One second. There's a few from this table we can pick. Mm. Smack. Smack. Um, who else can we pick? Where's Ali Reza Hamir? Ali Reza Hamir. Everyone, loud salawat for him. <laughs> <laughs> come, come, this come. Said, you can't pray Jamaat Tahajud. They will come here. Hiya. All right. Imrani, are we ready? Let's choose our first Ali person. This is the last round, so here is where you make your difference and where Ali Raza makes Kitro of the question. Surely it can't be worse than that question that Mustafa Ankal had to read out, Bichara. Question number one, nice and loudly. Ready? I actually need... Uh, 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 hurry up. <laughs> I can't see. I yeah, need... Yeah, I need yeah. No, no, no. I... I <laughs> Aya. Chornadiwas. <laughs> and, the, uh, and the answers? <laughs> das. <laughs> Charles. Can I... Can I leave this one? No, no, no. Uh, are we... Uh, are we got chair? Patigya. Okay, Chorna Divas. Chalis Das Avigya Che Ke Patigya Che. Or Patigya, as Ali Raza said. Asant Ali Raza. Imran, you choose your next target. Three, two, one. Chalis is the correct answer. Before we move on, Muhammad Raza Uncle. A quick uh, tafsir of Chorna Divas Chalis Che. What does it mean? Well, I, as far as I can interpret that, it's you cannot be uncovered more than, for more than 40 days. So you can run, but you can't hide. So who is our next target now? Are we ready, Imran Lee? Higher. So Mustafa Anko, uh -huh. he was looking for his son-in-law, but he couldn't find his son-in-law, so he picked his son ah, to son. ask. Question. That's funny because there's one question. Ma pera na char mati? Char mati kali ma pera uge. Hiya, ready? Ask the question. Ask the question. That, that's what it's done, by the way. Are you ready, Mahdi? This, that's my son. Hiya, <laughs> Bismillah. <laughs> ask, the, ask the question. <laughs> that's not his son, mate. <laughs> Mustafa Ankal, I know you have a new Jamai. That doesn't mean you forget who your son is. Can someone first bring Mahdi from Lost and Found? Where is Mahdi? 
Oh, there he is. Hi. Anyway, we'll take it from here, from Ibrahim. Tipper, tipper. Tipper, tipper. Um. Wasad awi. Sarwa. Bahrai. Pet. Bray. Badu. Do. Rijai. Tipe, tipe, varsad awe, saro bharai, pet bharai, or badu dhori jai. Couple of seconds. If these were English sayings, Gogai, we would come to you. Aya. Five, four, three, two, one. And the answer is Sarvo Bharai. Nazir, uncle, bit of tafsir, please. Sorry? A bit of tafsir. Tipe, tipe, Sarvo Bharai. Means drop by drop fills the measure. You get it? So slowly, slowly, we will get where we need to. Like Haba na Haba who jaza kibaba. The exact same saying in Swahili. Shez, should I translate or was that okay? Ahsan. Right, next question. Sorry, Shez. Smack. Oh. We have smack. Smack. Are we ready? You know, smack actually, the only Urdu I've ever heard from him is Nara Haydari. <laughs> Hiya, smack. This is too easy, come on. Haraka, haraka. <laughs> Dunia in in a Kimbia. <laughs> Mouvoir in a Nyasha. <laughs> Haina ha Baraka. Hakuna Matata. That was perfect. Thank you. Haya. Haraka, Haraka. Dunia in a Kimbia. Mouvoir in a Nyasha. Haina Baraka and Hakuna Matata. Five, four, three. Two, one. Results are in. Haraka, haraka, haina baraka. Tafsir. This is your initiation. When you do something too quickly, when you move too fast, there's no blessings or good that comes out of it. If you rush something, then there will be no benefit in it. Right, next we have um, a hardcore kitchen volunteer who uh, is what we call an Iraqi khoja. <laughs> Don't get many of them, but shout out to Ali for his hard work. Ali, are you ready? Muhammad, ma. Muhammad. <laughs> Muhammad, Ali, same thing, ba. What the heck, Shami? Haya. Finish the sentence. Chedi ke is it sune saske sune noke pana de jamake roti golfie. That was better than snacks to. Very good. So that was brilliant. Right. Chedi ke sune saske sune noke pana de jamake ke roti golfie. Most, uh, Mont, 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 are you ready for a bit of a tafsir on this one? Five, four, three, two, one. Sunai no ke. Now, Mumtaz uncle, what does this mean? Well, if you look at the, the saying, 
say che di ke ane sunai no ke so you're telling your daughter but you are telling of your daughter in law yeah so it's an abstract way of passing the message yeah so that you know uh, it's like sappe mario ne lakri ena tutei wahwa to bolo wahwa to bolo ah ah sappe mare ane lakri ena tute at least what what happens is this when you go for an effort yeah you 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 win it you fulfill it without losing anything so you haven't lost anything but you fulfilled your effort i mean you've achieved your effort say wah wah again you know perfect yeah and don't you tell me more about this bloody album thing next year yeah yeah that's one more thing i remembered when yeah when these guys when they rang me three of them were very smart very smart munja baap ni kariya you know what they told me said mumtaz uncle will make you an offer you cannot refuse you will have to show us that album and i said what is it that offer and you know what they told me you will get the chance to name the children <laughs> So <laughs> moving the question forward. was obviously when you tell someone else and indirectly you mean someone else so if i said ya kantakal please don't wear pajamas when you come to the mosque i'm not really telling him <laughs> moving on Imran Lee are we ready? I've got the whitest guy in the room. <laughs> okay, Mr. Merchant, the name matches. Haya, bismillah. Don't say gay. Gay the guy. Pacha as awsan awsa? Na pacha nai awa. Pacha I will say to 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 Kiara I will say Bacha Kaitna I will say very good effort <laughs> Okay I don't fully blame you I think it was wasn't written properly but it's gay te gay Bacha ausa ne Bacha ne ave Bacha ause to Kiara ause Bacha Kaitna ause That's a struggle. He does correct. correct. I think all of them. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Right, results are in. And the answer Where's Shai the bus? No Shai the bus here. Murtaza uncle bismillah. Bismillah. In fact there's a there's a seat at the EC table. Mohsin uncle. Double. Miracle. Please. Aya che कबने आ कुर्सी पर लिखे रु छे सेक्रेटरी आवी जाओ बसी आ माशाल्लाह अल्लाह मुहम्मद आई थिंक वी हैव क्वोरम हियर ऑलरेडी फॉर एजीएम सॉरी वी हैव क्वोरम दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम वी हैव क्वोरम फॉर एजीएम माय इज वेल कॉल इट नाउ पॉइंट ऑफ ऑर्डर मुमताज अंकल कासम या फॉर दिस गाइस यू हैव जस्ट एंटर्ड लाइक देयर होलीनेस इज बेटर लेट देन नेवर Okay Imran Lee next question Almost at the end now <laughs> Who's talking Ozair Ozair Mauji give us some inspiration like father like son come on 
finish the sentence. Chamcha mapani barne. Pija nawaja dubija mota upper fek. Mota upper fek. The rest was quite good. Right, let's see. A, B, C, or D. Five, four, three, two, one. Results are in. Chamcha mapani bhar ne. Dubita, very quickly, 30 seconds. Was who got this right for a change? Can we give a round of applause, please? Was. Thank you. Was, give us a quick tafsir. I can say this in Kachi, Heklo Pani Me Dubi Win, basically. So you drown yourself in sh shallow water. Asad, Asad, which is impossible for Asif. Asif, give us a standing ovation, please. Asif, please. Come on, stand, stand. Thank you, Asif. Almost as tall as a chandelier. <laughs> Asad. Right, next question. Imrani, are we ready? We're going to Tommy, Tommy Jr. Jr. Um, finish the sentence. Utaure amba naka bagri jai tipet magarbarthai na pake. Very good, very good. Very Tommy impressed. Training. Hiya, which one is it? MKU Bilal Min Shajaratim Wahida. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so the answer was Utaure Amba. Na pake. So, I was going to come to Mohsin Uncle, <laughs> but then I was redirected from one Qibla to another. <laughs> Bilal Uncle. You know, quick story. One day in, Shahra, uh, in Muharram, we had gone for a, a program late at night to the Afghani center. It must have been about 3 a.m. We came back. We were hungry. What's open? Chicken Valley. We went to Chicken Valley. There's no one there. It's 3 a.m. On one table, come on, candlelight. Mohsin uncle, Bilal uncle. <laughs> it was the most heartwarming thing to see. <laughs> Ask if you have a picture. <laughs> ah, son, you, uh, thank you. Okay, I don't think we can get it up there, but there is proof here, if you see. We even... Tase, tase, neitai. Tase, neitai. See if that uncle can be Shahid, please. <laughs> Are we there? It was there. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Ahsan. Ana wa Ali min shajaratin wahida. This is exactly how we felt when we saw Bilal Ankar and Mosin. And that's why you raise money for this floor. With and cameras this, like this. And that's why the money has been well spent on the AV system, so you can see how well we can zoom. Yeah? <laughs> And it's being well spent on wings as well. <laughs> Hiya. Oh, Bilal Anaka. What? Not what your order was. What does it mean? Anything in a hurry, uh, it, you will never no. get no. what you want. No. <laughs> Utaure Amba Napake. Right, that is um, last one. 
This is actually a repeat of last year or the year before. So many of you should know it. And I know who is going to get angry when they see this as the last question. So last question, we actually have to go private school education. <laughs> Let's see how well they taught them Gujarati in private school. Mr. Friday. In the Tanzanian national anthem, what is the next line after Wabiraki? I don't know what that word. Say it. Vio gon Vion Gozi Wake Hikimi Hikima Ujomoa Na Amani Africa Na Watu Wake Dumsha Uru Na Omoji Waka Juma, Juma, bus, bus, thank you. Bus, bus. Okay, A for effort, zero marks. Very quickly, in the Tanzanian national anthem. What is the next line after Wabariki Viongozi Wake? Is it Hekima Umoja na Amani? Is it Africa na watu wake or dumisha uhuru na umodia or is it wake kwa waome na watoto mungu ibariki tanzania na watu wake ibariki tanzania ibariki Tanzania to Bariki Watoto na watu wake Asant. Asant. I think we need a Kenyan rendition. Waza, take it away. <laughs> you start, you start. Who <laughs> hey, mungu vuyetu Ilete baraka kwetu Haki venga wo namlinzi Natukae na udugu amani na uhuru Rahatu pate na ustawi Round of applause! And finally, the national anthem of Pakistan! Aksar zameen chad bak Keshwale Haseen Shabbat Are you sure that wasn't a marshal? <laughs> okay, Ahsan. So, I think it's clear to say that the Tanzanian was the most exciting one we heard, though. Yeah. But Ahsan, thank you. Right, so, what is the final answer here? Who is, uh, whose face do you see here where you see true Stanmore? You don't see anything else. Tell me. <laughs> Someone we haven't chosen. Someone who Tamil Jare and Jone, Kadi Stanmore. In Shaka Kadi Stanmore, they Kai. Asif. Asif, he's too tall for this. But okay, let's give him the mic. Asif, in one line, if Stanmore, Hujat Stanmore, had a national anthem, what would it be? <laughs> There's too many to choose from. Bismillah. You have to recite it, huh? <laughs> Bismillah. Um, no idea. Mohsin Qasim and Bilal Muglu. Asif, what would you say? Okay, I think if there is someone that you see and you know Stan Moore, it's when you hear that famous sound. Bar Muhammad Wali Muhammad Salawat. Allahumma salli ala. Great khadim of, uh, of our mosque. Bashanaka, what would you say is our national anthem? Stan Moore Hamari Jan. Ahsan, Ahsan. I think that brings us to the end of our quiz. Imran Lee, what would you say? What was our national anthem? Ilahi Babima. Ahsant, Ahsant. 
<laughs> okay, so Bandes! Bandes, good <laughs> Here are your envelopes. There are only one, two, three, four, five, six. There are only six. 10 pounds each, so you give your envelope at Juicewala, you give the 10 pounds to them, and then you get something back <laughs> for 10 pounds. Number two, Washamba. Bandes Khuda, third time lucky. Correct, third time lucky with, um, with Bandes. Um, number three was Mdizi. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. I'm so glad that wasn't on the microphone. The Rafida from Nairobi, who uh, Figo hats off. Figo's from Nairobi, but he knew the national anthem properly. So, Ahsan Figo. And finally, Shabab Al Kitchen. Where's Shabab Al Kitchen? Ahsan. Very well, well done to everyone. Thank you so much for taking part. We hope you enjoyed it. Please forgive any banter that we had, and you may have taken offense. But inshallah, we'll be doing this again next year. And uh, once again, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, do we have any black bags where we can just keep ready for uh, any clearance? Number one. Number two, uh, once again, thank you for coming. And we obviously love our windows, but we do need donations. So please, dig deep. The brothers, the SJ brothers, uh, the Al Hadi brothers do have uh, transferring potential as well, if anyone would like. Finally, please take a rubbish, throw it away. Anything else? To donate, there is a, um, a QR code on the board. We'll end with uh, Ziara, I think. Let's end with a loud salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليك يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا أمير المؤمنين السلام عليك يا فاطمة الزهراء سيدة النساء العالمين السلام عليك يا حسن المجتبى السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله الحسين وعلى تسة المعصومين من ذريتك علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والحجة بن الحسن عجل الله فرج وسهل الله مخرج وظهورك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم كل وليك Final thoughts, Imran Lee, very quickly. Thank you all for participating. Inshallah, see you next year. Brothers, please help us with the tables and the chairs, Ahsan.
Brothers, may I request you all to please help us with the tables and the chairs, Hassan.